Hi, today's topic is the ESP32 with the Arduino IDE and the SI7021, a relative humidity and temperature sensor from Silicon Labs. And also I use an SSD1306 OLED display with the U8G2 lip from Oli Kraus. So let's start with the humidity and temperature sensor, the SI7021. I bought it from AliExpress with a module and the module also came with a voltage regulator and I2C pull-up resistor and also for 5 volt compatibility uh, MOSFET level shifter and also some smoothing caps for the sensor. So that's all we need to run this sensor for the ESP32 with the 3.3 volt operation voltage. The OLED display I ordered also from AliExpress came with an I2C bus and so we can use the same lines for the sensor and the OLED display. So let's have a look at the wiring I use. I use the I.O. port 22 for the clock line. On the sensor it's called SCL and on the display, on my display, it's called SCK. But it's the same clock line. And for the data line I use GPIO port 21. And also I connect the ground line and also the 3.3 volt to the V-in or sometimes called VCC voltage line. And as always I use my UART converter for programming and also for the debugging. So I connect it to the RX and TX pin in crossed connection and the ground potential is also connected. And for resetting I use the enable pin with a pull-up resistor to 3.3 volt and also the GPIO pin 0 is connected to ground wire switch so I also always can take the ESP32 to flash mode. So let's have a look at the data sheet from the SI7021. It came with an I2C bus and it's a an humidity and temperature sensor with very high precision and also the temperature is very accurate only 0.4 Celsius between the normal operation range but we can also use it down to minus 40 and up to 125C. We can use it in the same operation voltage as our ESP32 so it fits into the 3.3 volt range I use and here we have a typical application circuit so it's important that we pull up the clock and data line for the I2C bus to the same voltage level we use and here we have our I2C command table uh, we can use the hold master mode for reading the humidity or the non-hold master mode and the same for the temperature. You can use the hold master mode or the non-hold master mode. And what it means is we have to support the clock stretching by the master for the hold master mode. And if we don't support clock stretching, then we don't can use the hold master mode. So for most libraries for the Arduino stuff, there's the hold master mode used, but for the ESP32 that not support the clock stretching yet, we have to use the no hold master mode. So some words about the I2C clock stretching. For the normal mode, the master can pull the clock line low, but for high level, the master don't have to pull it to VCC. It only the master have to keep the line floating. And this is why the client can use the clock stretching mode because the client can pull the clock line to low.
low as long as the data is not available and the master have to wait for the client until the client says okay now I'm ready to send the data and now I let the clock line floating and so the master have to read the clock line till it's slow and only if the clock line is switched to high then he can read the data from the client device. So let's have a look at our setup. I connect the UART converter and the VCC and you see the display is displaying the humidity and also the temperature. So we can have a look closer look to this. Here's our sensor connected via four lines, VCC, ground and data and clock and also the same for the display. So I can also take off the display and here we have a bigger display with 128 by 64 pixel and this is the back side. So I connect this to the I square C bus and do a reset. And now we see the same but in another orientation. But let's switch back again to our small display. So I just connect it and press the reset button and we see our readings again. And the small dot is just an heartbeat. Now let's breath on the sensor to display some changes in humidity and you see the bar graph is rising up. So just another breath. And the humidity is rising up and also the temperature. So the bar graph is just a nice gimmick. And we can take out our sensor and you see there's just a rise up to the maximum display. And we can do it again. I breath again on the sensor. And so put it on the bench and just connect it again to our board. And immediately we see our sensor data. So for me, that works nice. And now let's have a close up and I show you some time lapse video for some changing of temperature and humidity. And now let's have a look at the Arduino code. I use the Arduino IDE version 1.6 release 13 and the first thing we have to do, we have to open our include library and library manager and search for the U8G2 lib from Olli Kraus. And so if you if it's not installed in your IDE, just press the install button. Or you can also use the GitHub page from Oli Kraus and you find the U8G2 library. It's an improved version from the U8G lib and it's a monochrome graphics library for LCDs and also for OLED displays. So switch back to the code. We have to include the 
U8G2 library and also for UI square C communication we have to include the wire library from the ESP32 and also the I square C library. And I use this define for my OLED display for the SSD. 1306 and my display have 128 by 32 pixels and I do some constants for our SI7021 sensor and as mentioned I use the non-hold registers for temperature and humidity because the ESP32 in my opinion don't support the clock stretching today. So I don't use any other library because they don't work and they all rely on the clock stretching. So I just program my own small functions for this. So first function to read the value from the sensor and then also calculate the humidity and also calculate temperature. And if you want to know how to calculate this, just read the data sheet so you can have a formula for calculating the humidity. And the next page you have also a formula to calculate the temperature. So switch back to the code. This is just for the humidity and temperature reading. And that's all my code to display the values to the OLED display. So we just draw a disk for the heartbeat. I don't do it every loop. I do it only every fourth loop. So then I get the humidity and temperature into a variable. Then I print out a string and also display the degree sign to the display. Then I put the string to a special buffer so we can print it out via our UART and also print it out to our display. And first we have to set the nice font that fits to our display. Then we put out the buffer and then I also draw a box in the size of the humidity. So we have a bar graph and then we send out the buffer. That's all. So as always, thanks for watching today and I hope you learned something. If so, please support me and give me a thumbs up and also write a comment if you have some questions for this project or some maybe improvements. And now that's it for today. Thank you and bye bye. Have a nice day.